Hello everyone. So we were busy doing a clean up in a garden when I noticed this evil little plant. It's known by a few names like fireweed, devil's guts, hairweed, hellbine, strangleweed or witch's hair. All of those names seem quite apt for it because of what it's able to do but its real name is cascuta or dada. It's quite an interesting plant and I'll run through what makes it so interesting in a moment and I'll also show you how to remove it so that it doesn't grow back. As you can see, dodder is yellow, which means it doesn't have any chlorophyll in it, or, or, or very little chlorophyll, should I say. So it can't make food for itself from sunlight. It's a parasitic plant which has some remarkable abilities. It usually grows from seed, which can survive dormant in the soil for up to 10 years. Once it germinates, the little plant uses something called chemoreceptors, which enable it to essentially smell plants nearby. And with this sense of smell, it'll grow towards the plant and begin to twine itself around the host. It sends these, these little tendrils, which are called historia, into the host plant's tissue, and it then begins to extract nutrients and water from the host. In a similar way to the mistletoe, which you can check out in the link above. Once this process has begun, the root in, in the soil will actually die off and it lives entirely on its host. But unlike mistletoe, it will eventually kill its host. Interestingly, it tends not to like grasses or, or plants from the lily family. What makes this a bit of a difficult plant to get rid of is that if any little part of the plant is left behind, either in the host plant or as a piece on the ground, it can survive for up to 10 days while it looks for a new host plant. The best way to get rid of it is to just do some dramatic cutting back of the host plant. Make sure that you don't leave anything behind. It's best to get a, a piece of plastic and, and carefully cut everything back and move everything straight across to the plastic. Also, it's probably best not to add it to your compost heap, although if the temperatures do get high enough, it, it should actually kill the seed. After that, it's really just about keeping a check on the area to make sure that it hasn't sprung up anywhere else. And obviously, the sooner you get to it, the better. It's also usually at its worst in spring and summer and, and tends to grow better in tropical or warmer climates. So I hope that helps give you a better understanding of this little evil genius of a weed and, and how to get rid of it. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with anyone else who might find it interesting. Otherwise, happy gardening.